Uh, sorry about that. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> it won't happen again. <laughs> Thank you, drive through. <laughs> This week's episode of MPH TV is sponsored by Clear Solutions for a clean pipe every time. Fonza Seeds, Hemp Beach's most trusted and reliable seed bank. Discreet worldwide shipping available. Couch Lock, our number one choice for our high enhancer. Alrighty, Stoner fans. Get your lighters out. It's time to pack your bowls, bombs, roll your joints and blunts. Let's get free. It's time for Hemp Beach. TV episode 277. Where is your weekly dose of 420 entertainment news, games, movies, and reviews? Straight from your Stoner News and Television Network. Hey, I'm Blazio Bryan. I'm Max Toker. And the CEO side by head behind the camera as usual. Scum! All right, guys, if you haven't noticed, we're not at our normal location. Yeah, I know. There's not the same things behind us. We're not on set. We are off location. Look at this are sick ass same? piece, dude. We're yeah, I know. That's an awesome piece, dude. We're I, visiting some friends. We're visiting some friends from, and... From out of town. Why don't you tell them a little bit about this piece that no, we have right from here. We're out of town, huh? Huh? We're from we're out of town. town. Yeah, but they're from out of our town, so, you know, whatever. Can you get a, can I get a zoom in on that? Yeah, zoom in on this shit. This thing is so fucking cool looking. Down, down, down. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. This is called the pink snout. Oink, oink, motherfucker. This is how you really hit a bowl. It has the double dual air intake and uh, it's really comfortable. It's really like, <coughs> it's not like your traditional flat piece that feels awkward like your fucking, I don't know, duck bill or something. But <laughs> it's really nice and ergonomic. And then you got here the cunt carb which is also really awesome and ergonomic and it just looks really yeah, it, great. It fits your thumb right perfectly. Pass it. This pass it to the, oh, the other Pass way. it to the left because no. the right way is wrong. <laughs> you know what to do, right? What's this for? Dabs? Are we dabbing it up? Are we dabbing it up? All right. So. So he just sets it down. Um, over I don't there. know. Well, I, hold on. Well, <laughs> dude. I mean, I don't know. Is, is this in shot? Are we allowed? Yeah. Is this in the shot? Yeah. So what could we use? Of all these awesome, uh, I think this one's the, the one that's plainly been yes. been this used. Is, this uh, sick glass. Yes, yeah, sick glass. Sick glass is a uh, artist out of uh, Orlando. Orlando, Orlando, Florida. Wait, we've been out there before. Orlando, yeah. Florida. Once or twice. Man, crazy. They got big things happening over there, in fucking Florida. Yeah, so, man. And uh, check this out, guys. If you didn't know, Santa Cruz Shredder. This is called, uh, what'd you say? Omni-nail. The Omni Nail, man. This is fucking badass. We're about to test this bad boy out. So, um, there's, it's already set up there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. They were kind enough to, to help yeah, us out with this. Turn it. Turn it up. You do not have to Turn it up. <laughs> well, I didn't know. Maybe it feels a preference. I'm like, okay, I guess somebody wants it slow. Uh, you know, the low heat. What the hell is that? Beep, beep. Okay, no, it's the weed fairy here. This the weed fairy. Yo, that's what lets you know you're in the legit. <laughs> fireman. Yeah. Somebody's outside. <laughs> Dog walking by. <laughs> <laughs> That's just our security here at Hemp Beach. Yeah, right. Well, we're not at Hemp Beach. We're at an awesome I mean, location. We are at Hemp. Like, Hemp Beach is wherever we take it. How is that? You like that? <laughs> <coughs> Very nice. I forgot to who. You forgot to who? What? Carb cap. Ah. These things. Have you used one? No, I've not. Yeah, I've not. Um, I, I didn't do it right, but you're supposed to, uh, right when you set it on, you yeah. put it right on top, right? Yeah, yeah the dude. Huh. Hell yeah, man. I saw, I, I saw somebody uh, doing it, and, and the way they had their piece, 
I was like, this is really like dangerous. <laughs> I don't know if I really, you know. <laughs> Get the next one ready, I'll show you how to do it. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, Max, why don't you pack another bowl? So we pack another bowl up. Right. So guys, there's, there's right. anonymous people in the room, so they can. If uh, while he's doing that, I'll show off some awesome glass we got here, guys. Don't worry, I'll blur out your head or something. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put like the ass black duck or something. <laughs> now we got we got our homie. We'll just Ed. put Terry Crews' face glass. over here. Terry Crews. <laughs> All right, oh, my homeboy SB over here. Uh, can you could you give me a brief, uh, just a uh, nice collaboration? Uh, yeah, a rundown. Scott, can listen. Uh, that's uh, Bone Lord by himself right there. It's a uh, really clever and calm use. Uh, it's got, if I'm not mistaken, alien tech, uh, dragon blood on there, uh, uranium encased slime, all sorts of great stuff. There's a beautiful Humicello on the background. Yeah, the, this yeah, thing that, is, it's dude, you got to zoom looks, in on that, man. I mean, if you can take this closer and get like a real, it looks like you're going into a fucking wormhole. It's dude. really awesome. It's pretty complicated. Gorgeous. It's really cool. It's a uh, handworks, um, everything, removable bounce stem. It's been lipped. I don't know what color the lip is in between all the encolons. Pretty cool piece. I like it a lot. And then it's got this dabber with it. Yep. And the dabber has like, spear. it has an opal. spear. Yeah, it's got the opal in there and that's like, oh, it's perfect center, dude. It seriously is. It's glass, fucking glass amazing. Glass dude, is really, really, um, I don't think it gets enough credit. You know, it, it doesn't get enough respect that it, it deserves, man. It's such an awesome art form. and. You know, so many people work put put all their work into that. Like, look at all these awesome pendants we have here. You gotta make a million of them before you can make it. What? What'd you say? Are we playing Space Invaders or something? Like, all these awesome pendants, man. So much great work. I love being around this kind of oh. stuff, man. Here's another awesome pay. Uh, I'm learning. This is the <laughs> wig wags, right? Am I saying that right, guys? Yeah. We got a wig wag here by uh, Lieber. Lieber. Is it Lieber or Lieber? Lieber. Lieber. Look at this, man. This is real sexy. Nice. Bam, man. That is some real sexiness right there. What's that? Oh, that's a honeycomb. Honeycomb marble. Oh. Millie. 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 Damn. You can tell he doesn't blow the last. <laughs> it's alright. You know. Uh, you don't have to have to know how a door works to still use one. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, man. And you know, it's it's a learning. Oh, was that your? That was supposed to be your dab scope. Okay. Ninja. Cover. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Sir, there you go. Thickens up. Yeah. yeah. And now, but these these the the carb caps are relatively kind of new. Like they just kind of like <laughs> I haven't seen them like. <laughs> 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 Oh my god! <coughs> like a dome. Like a dome. Like a glass dome. Like not. Like titanium. Right. It's like we just moved. <coughs> right. Yeah, no, it's definitely awesome, man. So that way you, you don't even need your dabber. You just all of <coughs> Bam, bam. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Oh my god. That tastes exactly. kind of minty. Oh, I'm glad you got that in. <laughs> Oh, the don't be bothered. Well, you know, we are the ones on, on camera. We are the yeah. ones entertaining people. And don't be I mean the most. Oh. <coughs> oh, man. That's not cool. So, guys, um, where where could the people watch, watch <coughs> watching right now? Where could they find <coughs> us? Uh, like Instagram, I believe. Uh, everybody represented here. Uh, the, the lever two slides has, like, underscores. What's the, did you know what I'll talk about? We'll get it to you guys in production. We can have it like Yeah, it'll awesome. be on the bottom of the screen. Right here. Check it out. Don't forget to put it there, skunk. Yeah. We'll have like a lever, uh, bone lord, and then uh, that little spoon is strawberry. Strawberry underscore glass. So okay, yeah, man. This is sick glass over here being abused over here. <laughs> we got a little sick glass. Got a little sick glass. <laughs> can you hear that? Oh, I'm Whoa. sure. I know. There's an like echo. The, the acoustics <gasps> are like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> awesome. Oh, man. You know, um, I didn't even... Yeah, right? <laughs> so, um, we've, we've uh, been here hanging out at the shop. Check out some of this awesome footage.
Enjoyed that cool uh, break we did. Are you cool? Are you good? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're back. <laughs> uh, we collected. I'm here. Right, I'm, I'm here. All right, guys. Physically. We're here with Squirrel, and this is the Squirrel Nest. I should have really just opened up with you here. That would have. <laughs> that would have been a lot better. Like Probably. to just like. Boom! Like, because we open it and it's like, oh, cool, we have all this awesome glass and we have. Yeah. Uh, I was attempting to try and explain some of it, but being as I don't know much about it, I figured which out of these pieces would you say is one of your favorites? My favorite would definitely have to be the Space Collab with Levi and uh, Bone Lord. That's the that one. That right one yeah. 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 All right, so. That thing is beastly. The way he does this is he'll take like a blue tube, take silver and gold and spray it over it and fume it. I guess Levi just added his sections and shaped the tube, did the opal on it, which isn't that really big of a deal, but hey, my name's still on it, I guess. Took them all fucking night, man. All yeah, night. it's really nice and the opal really, like, I even just like saw it right now, just shut the light shining on it. It's, it's pretty badass. This is definitely my favorite out of the two collabs. But, like I said, that one's just as cool. It's got Greg's reef cab on it. The uh, Kanaroo clownfish melee on it. It's pretty badass. No, definitely, man. And and what, which, which was your, uh, coll uh, which, what, what did you collab to this piece? Which I just did the opal on it. I didn't really do too much on that one. I okay. just put the one opal. On that one, I did all the opals. Nice. So I'm not really at that level yet, but Levi, actually wanted me involved so I gave him some opals and, and and how long have you guys been set up here here at this shop we've been here for about a month awesome man yeah. so it's still kind of uh breaking her in yeah it's still coming together in. we got the next hood coming and then we got another table and then we'll have three more people very cool man and then oh, you'll yeah. have your own like just <coughs> team yeah. of like awesome yeah and you'll be able to put all sorts of awesome collabs together man like um which was um this one was a no this was a soul this no, was that's one just guy, eric yeah right yeah all right so these were the two collabs yes sir yeah man very cool stuff pretty awesome and where where can uh, they find your guys stuff online online eric doesn't have too much online um levi i'm not too sure but i know Levi, Joint Forces. Joint Forces Glass sells all Levi's stuff. They also awesome. sell Mady Biz kind and all them. They're a great company, actually. They support and a lot of local people. For uh, the people watching right now, like how much would they expect to pay for something like this? Retail for both those would be a stack each, thousand dollars. You heard it here, a stack. So if you want something this nice, and you know this is for the connoisseur, this is yeah. for the person that takes pride in their collection so you better have at least a stack to throw down on something this I honestly I'd probably pay more than that for something like this you know but so yeah, you guys know I'd easily pay a grand for that 
Oh, oh yeah. for sure. I think they sell themselves short all the time. I when they first made them, I said fifteen hundred, but yeah, I got to be fair to everybody because a lot of people don't want to spend that much, and they still want some nice artwork. So. Right. And uh, what about that uh, piece you're rocking there? What can you uh, tell us about that? This is actually a Vela G and Blue Dome. Vela G did the actual dome on the piece and then Blue did the joint and the horns. And I have it on a dome holder. Nice. It's That's like kind of cool. like a slide stand or whatever, but it's just for a pendant. Can't exactly remember who made it, but that has a green donut opal and a three millimeter black sphere in it. Very nice, man. And very cool, dude. Well, we uh, just want to say thank you for having us out here, man. We really appreciate getting to see the shop and seeing all the great art that you guys are doing, man. And yeah, man. It's, you guys uh, are always it's, welcome. Yeah, keep doing your thing for sure, man. And uh, here's a break for our sponsors. Sponsors! Clear Solutions has developed a custom formulated patent pending 5-in-1 cleaner designed to remove organic tars and resins from your dirty glass, metals, tools, clothes and hands. I know I've said a mouthful, but let me elucidate. It's so easy that Clear Kryptonite cleans in just three simple steps. 1. First, pour enough Clear Kryptonite into your dirty glass apparatus to allow it to coat all areas. Return all access into Clear Kryptonite bottle for reuse. Next, allow the clear kryptonite to soak for at least 20 minutes. It may require more time to soak depending on magnitude of buildup. If you haven't already, this may be a great time to walk the dog. 3. Finally, rinse with warm water. That's it! Clear kryptonite will leave your glass looking and smelling like it's never been used. You can pre-order it online today at www.clearsolutions.com.
And those were our sponsors. sponsors. We are back from our break from our sponsors with Strawberry himself. You guys saw me talking about this awesome piece that some hooligans smoked out of. I know these things are not meant for that. They're meant for tobacco. It's a dog whistle. And um, It's a dog whistle. <laughs> it's dirty because the dog pooped in but, it. But um, what? I was trying to explain them earlier the, the the things that you do that kind of separate your your uh, your hand pipes. That's the proper term, right? Yeah, uh, I call those uh, spoons. I always grew up calling them spoons. So uh, yeah, it's my spoon production line. I use uh, usually mostly silver fuming and gold fuming. Uh, this is a silver fume one right here. Uh, I usually try to use a color that uh, is only made in America. One of my favorite things to do is use um, Momka colors. A real big supporter of Momka. My teacher uh, was a huge supporter of Momka. I hear his family are big supporters of Momka. It's hard to not love, you know, great color. Uh, this is a violet medley uh, piece here. This was actually not only a, a demonstration showing somebody something, um, but it was uh, I was testing out that violet medley. Um, one of the first things I do is a wrap and rake. Old school techniques, been around for thousands of years. I figure, you know, not so good to do it. It's an old school West Coast thing. Uh, being on the East Coast, there's not a lot of guys over here doing it right now. Right. So it's uh, it's kind of like a little niche I jumped into. A lot of guys skip over it now, starting. Um, and my whole style is neo traditional. I love to do like old school shit, redone. So you know, you see like classic old school like striking techniques throughout. You know, using the different parts of the encasement to get different colors. Uh, encase the the dots here, the magnifiers throughout the pattern, so you can see the fuming effects change as this dog whistle has changed quite a bit, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I do these magnifiers to make certain points jump out, uh, but that's really all the, uh, it's funny to be talking about that for me, because that's usually like the last thing I talk about is, uh, that's my dad, my dad. <laughs> it's too bad, he'd probably be here talking, he'd be here talking all about me if he could, man. He'll talk, he'll talk to you, you know. <laughs> yeah, I see it, like, I see the, the points that are, uh, you know, Certain spots where the fuming, I feel really like, will pop out. different, you know, and yeah. uh, certain spots like where the color struck a little, you know, how I liked it. I uh, and that's normally, an, that's, that's another like aesthetics, one of your trademarks you know. too, right? Yeah, the way I uh, the way I like, you know, put it where I do. It's, it's all nubbed out. There's like little nubs all over the place. Really, my trademark is uh, the function. Uh, that's all just kind of like how it looks good, which is all well and good. But really, the most important thing in that price range is uh, function. So. Uh, and just so people know, this is a twenty-five dollar uh, retail piece. You know, I wholesale That's, them. That is a great price for that piece. When, yeah. when it comes down to it, if I get a pipe and it doesn't function the way that I want it why, to, it gets shot. Yeah. You know, a and, lot of people. And I go out and I buy a new pipe. Yeah, exactly. A lot of people, you know, will you know throw them out. And I feel like in this price range, it's something that, you know. You'll hold on to it. You know. You're going to hold on to it. I used to tell people in sales, you know, I got into this industry in a uh, retail <clears> position. <throat> and uh, I used to tell people, you're going to have this until somebody steals it or you break it. And uh, that's the God honest truth. A lot of these people, you know, will hide this in their closet for 20 years and you'll never see it again. And when you finally do see it, it'll be something you have. You know, you see pieces surfacing now of, you know, some of the old school dudes, you know, the ancients, quote unquote, I mean, really it's only like, you know, how old of an industry, you know, you see Bob Snodgrass pieces coming out, the first sidecars, like from the first stuff, right. people pulling them out of closets, like, oh dude, I was a deadhead back in the day before I got my job and put this in a trunk. People don't get rid of these things. Yeah. Headies last forever, as long as you can take care of them, you know, yeah. you know, and, and that's how these a lot of times go for people. But the common purchase is like, you know, 10 to $30. So like I try to hit that price range, you know. I'm not gonna make a ten dollar piece, but I think at twenty five I can keep up. So where yeah. do people find your work? Uh, the first people who really ever supported me and uh, bought all my work was the first shop I ever worked at, and that's uh, the Pipe Dreams Establishment in Florida. It's a long standing business here. Uh, it's uh, they have a few stores. The store that was uh, has the majority of my work is uh, Pipe Dreams Fifth Dimension, as well as the Sanford store. Pipe Dreams uh, uh, as a whole have a lot of my work available. Uh, some other guys that have supported me over the years, uh, it's too bad a guy named uh, Chuck at Purple Haze was a uh, place in the Sanford flea market, dude. And guy was there for 20 years, bought my glass and a lot of other local dudes around. He's uh, He's gone now, but you know, he th there's a lot of people that bought my glass there. But currently, Purple Ringer, Mystic uh, in Orlando, I'm an Orlando-based artist. Uh, 
Climax might still have some stuff left. I sold them some stuff a long little while ago. I'm not sure if Sam hung on to any of it, you know. <laughs> uh, but I'm um, expanding all over the place. There's a small shop in uh, West Palm called Hidden Treasure. <laughs> And it's a middle of nowhere, uh, uh, awesome shop, you know, and the lady who works there is just extremely supportive. Uh, she just had a uh, demo for a guy named Starsky Boy down there, and he's an awesome artist, you know, another example of what's going on in Florida underground, you know, it's middle of nowhere demo, there was like five dudes standing around watching this dude do this like 16 section recycler. Oh, and we're just like shit. wig wags, ball reversals and calmos, everything like, and he's just throwing down and he's got like a production case sitting there of, of recyclers with, you know, uh, just like one wag on the bottom, one reversal on the bottom and it's like, he's just throwing down there's like 10 people there. It's ridiculous. You got a website or uh, Yeah, Instagram is, uh, Facebook Instagram or, and Facebook. Where can the ladies say they want to suck you? Oh man. Uh, God. They're gonna have to call me. They're gonna have to call me and make an appointment. You know. You're so inappropriate. Yeah, for real. What's the website address? It's uh, strawberry underscore glass on Instagram and uh, on Facebook. It's strawberry glass. And uh, feel free to look me up. I do ship. Uh, yeah, I think there's some uh, fans of uh, Happy Beach who are fans of yours now. Yeah, I actually did get a shout out from you guys recently, and it did. Uh, I remember I told you uh, recently in a uh, <coughs> business meeting, uh, <laughs> we were sitting around, and uh, yeah, it really did help me out a lot, and I appreciate all the support I can get. I really am thankful for the artist. Stay tuned for a giveaway. <laughs> Give away. These guys are cool, man. Well, thanks for coming on the show, dude. Thanks for having me. Much appreciation, man. You guys Keep took a long trip awesome to come see work, me. I feel man. great. <laughs> I love the cunt carb. Cunt carb and pussy a, lips, I love baby. the whole thing. Hey, uh, uh, that's uh, Ray Olson. Ray Baby showed me that. And then the uh, mouthpiece is an adaptation of that. And a little grid. Uh, I got that from a down stem. <laughs> Hey, dude. But uh, yeah, works, I gotta, man. I gotta let people know. I didn't. It make separates. That up. <laughs> you, know, you see, you see this, and then you see another. You know, your. It's all about your function, you know. Yeah, man. And big you know, carb, big enough to clear it out. Big enough to, you know, clear. Hey, yeah, and on top out. of that, when cleaning something with a hole like that, man, it's gonna be. Oh, it makes hella, hella easier. Mad easy. And oh, whoop, you know, whoop. even just so you know, like there is like whole, you know, the dimensions like. This is a greater size than these are yeah. combined. I know that for a fact. And uh, well, I saw you, I saw you make one earlier, and I was like, "Oh my god, that's so huge!" Down to the little yeah. like details, you know, it's got to be perfect. Awesome, man. Well, thanks. I for, love it. Thanks for coming on the show, man. And, thanks uh, for having I'm me. I'm sure we'll be seeing more of your glass around. Locals only, Boro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, Let's check out some torch work. Torch work. Torch work. You guys see all that awesome stuff going on over there? Of course you did, because hopefully Skunk put the clip there. <laughs> with hey, we're not the gonna footage. Huh? Mic check. Oh, we're oh my mic's Plugged off. Back in. Oh, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Ah, you don't like it, huh? My mic off? Yeah, you're good. You're good. All right. Oh, uh, technical difficulties. You're good, man. You're good. You're good. So uh, um, tell the people that are watching uh, who, who you are and uh, what you do here at Squirrel's Nest. My name's Eric, and I go by Bone Lord, and I just hang out and make cool stuff. Make cool <laughs> stuff indeed. Cool stuff including this that you had um, you you had your hands on, and you actually, uh, you were telling me earlier that you uh, made this awesome turtle here. Yep, made the turtle. And you also uh, did the dome, correct? Yep. Levi, uh, Levi Carter did the rest of the piece, and then for this big cabochon on the back, Greg, Greg Hurley did that, but I made this, made the sea turtle, it's got a honeycomb for a shell, 
Yeah, the honeycomb shell is really cool. Yeah. Yeah, it looks nice. That came out really nice. It's double amber purple. And then this dome, the opals were encased by squirrel. And I made, I constructed the dome. But Levi constructed most of the actual body of this piece, so definitely shout out to Levi. Hell yeah, man. And on this on this piece, you were telling me um, you did the space tube? That's yes. The wig wags were done by Levi, and he shaped the bottom half. Um, and then the space tubing is, is like silver, silver fumed over, over cobalt with gold, and then sleeved in clear. And you can get some really cool star effects with the silver and the gold yields greens and yellows to give it contrast. There's a little UFO, Millie, pretty sweet. Did the fumicello. Levi did the tube implosion and encased the Millie. Who did the fumicello? I made the, yeah, I did. Oh, this is you? Yeah. All right. That is awesome. yeah. freaking That's awesome. That's what we were showing them earlier. Thanks. How that, how great that came out. It, it looks like a wormhole. Thank it you, looks man. freaking awesome. <laughs> and um, the spaceship Millie, we were talking about that earlier. Who, who's, uh, who's who like signature that? is that? I don't know. I mean, I don't know who made that Millie, but we threw it in there. It might be Nady or Nate Myers, but I, I don't really know. I'm not quite sure. So. Nice, man. And you said Squirrel did the opal on this? Yes. He did all the opals on both of these pieces. Very cool. Very cool. Speaking man. of which... <laughs> this is very cool, man. The stuff, that, the stuff that you guys are putting out here are really cool, man. And we appreciate you coming on the show, man. That, Thank that. you so much for showing us uh, your awesome your collabs. Yeah, and expect big things from uh, Greg and Squirrel because... Uh, you know, they're just starting and they're killing it. Oh yeah, yeah man. man. What's that? Right, we're getting we're getting egged on to do the sponsors. Like oh. here's a we're gonna pay bills. Sponsors. Pay bills. Yeah. Sponsor. Sponsor yeah, time. Gotta pay the bills. Bonza seeds, the most trusted and reliable pick and mix seed bank. Get free feminized seeds with every order. Worldwide, ultra discreet and reliable shipping. Hundreds of amazing quality marijuana strains available. Amazing customer service. We love our customers. VIP weekly offers and promos sent to all customers. Use the coupon code HempBeach to get 10% off your order. Find them at www.bonzaseeds.com. All right, those are our sponsors. We love our sponsors. Our sponsors so are you, awesome. So check them out and tell them HempBeach sent you. All right, well, this has been a wonderful time here at the Squirrel's Nest. We've had a great evening. It's been really uh, cool, man. Seen some great work. You we, know, got, I, I definitely learned a, yeah. lot, a lot of stuff. I learned uh, so many things that probably pushed some other things out of my brain. Oh, for sure, man. Space tubing, wig wagging, uh, marbles and innies. I mean, mill millies. <laughs> it's, it's, been a, it's been a pretty fun episode. We'd like yeah, to thank everybody there over at uh, Squirrel's Nest. For having us, uh, uh, having us out there. It was awesome. Uh, quite an awesome experience and uh, we hope you guys enjoyed our off location episode and uh, if you'd like to see more episodes like this comment or I don't know yeah well send us some comments and stuff but uh, if you guys would like to get a hold of us Fima Gila if you guys would like to get a hold of Fima shit I can't Fuma say Cello. Fuma Cello. thank you that was this thing just in case you guys forgot all right, um, anyway, if you guys would like to get a hold of us, you can email us at hempbeach at techbros.net. Or you can go to our Facebook at facebook.com slash hempbeach. Uh, like and subscribe uh, to us on YouTube at youtube.com slash hempbeach. And um, Twitter, you can send us a tweet at uh, twitter.com slash hempbeach. No, or at hempbeach. At, at hempbeach TV. And hashtag, hashtag that shit, shit Hemp Beach Nation, bitch. And then uh, follow us on Instagram. Oh, Instagram. Yeah, don't forget about Instagram. Follow Fuck us on Instagram. Uh, Hemp Be at Hemp Beach TV. And our website, www.hempbeach.tv. TV. I'm Blaze O'Brien. I'm Max Toker. Peace, Peace out from Hemp Beach. Beach.